I see somebody wasn't paying attention to the uh, to the episode when when it was on. How did Elizabeth find Willow? Why didn't Chase look for her? Um, one you weren't listening and you weren't watching. Did you not see Chase go to the hospital and ask Elizabeth where Willow is because he's looking for Willow? And then he told Elizabeth what happened and why Willow's so upset and why he's trying to find Willow. Like, do you ever think they don't need to show like every single detail, every single word on screen? They don't need to have Elizabeth on screen tell Chase, hey, I think I might know where she's at. Could you wait a minute? And. I'll go and see if I'm right, and if she's there, I will go help her and see what I can do to help, since she's not letting you help her at this time. I would have done my research. I would have, you know, thought, like, you don't need that. The, the show's only on for an hour. They can't put in every little detail, every little saying on screen. So you're just going to have to imagine that off screen, she said that. If you see Liz at the gravesite where Willow is, then ding, 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 off screen, she probably told him what happened. Just like the whole Monica thing. How you think it's creepy that Monica was all smiling and when, J when Michael said it's his son now and she was all happy about it and didn't ask how it happened. You really want to live through all that all over again? on screen wasting time having Michael explain to Monica how Wiley became her son his son when he could have done that off screen because why say it again on screen when we already heard it on screen at Sonny's house at the Corinthos house from Brad do we really need to hear his version of of what he heard and he tells Monica, no, we don't. Just like, we don't need to hear Elizabeth told Chase, I think I know where she's at. Let me go see if I can help. Because when Liz lost, when Elizabeth lost Jake, before she found out Jake was alive, she went to the gravesite several different times. So, enough, enough. They don't need to show every little saying and details on screen you just are supposed to imagine that during the commercial break this was said and done because it's only an hour show if they did every single detail then we wouldn't get through the hour show people would be getting all pissy saying why are they still showing talking about this baby two weeks later why are they still telling people what's going on two weeks later when they can just do that off screen and move on and it not be two weeks of the baby talk. Think before you say shit like this. Good question. Where is Harmony? Where is Willow's mother? Doesn't Willow's doesn't she need Willow's mother? Like, doesn't Willow need her mother right now? That is a good question. Where is she? Now we're gonna spell Wiley's name wrong. What's next? Spelling Michael's name wrong? Because it's W-I-L-E-Y, not W-Y-L-I-E. I don't know why you think it that way and not the real way. I don't get it, people. Stop spelling their names wrong. Google it if you don't know how to spell their name. And if there's more than one spelling, Google it to find out how they spell it on the show. So the haul for today, Frozen 2, that my nephew's watching now. This one's for my cousin's daughter for her birthday. And then he got, what other movies did we get? See, there's his copy of Frozen. And then he got Godzilla, King of the Monsters, because it was on sale. And then my mom bought him these dinosaurs that make noise. And this transformer that turns into a police car. And I need to get another dinosaur so it's that so cool. doesn't make me any noise. See, that's the noise he makes. Oh, wet favors. Some place we haven't been in a long time. 
and I came across the Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time DVD. I'm not going to get it because I've never seen it before. didn't know there was a third one. I knew there was a second one, but a third one? I'm going to have to look that up online. But I hate how they put all the DVDs up here. Hard for you to look, and then down here, like, why do you make old people bend? It's just kind of annoying. Yeah, and then I see, let's see, there's tons of awesome powers and gold numbers. Look at all that D. Not a wonderful time. Now, this is pretty good movie. Beard. Anyways, you get the idea. If I get anything, I'll let you know. Hey, Pig Gamer. I didn't know you were in a movie called Not Another Teen Movie. Like, how did you get into this movie? Because look, you also made the cover of the movie. So, I didn't know you you acted in a movie. Just kidding, just kidding. What's eating Gilbo Grape with Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio? Already got that movie. Mythbusters, what the heck? See that on TV. Look. All the Saw movies. Oh, that one, I think. And I think I have that one too. Chucky's 20th birthday edition child's play. I don't know what that means. Yeah. So fucking tempting to get Days and Confused again, just in case. Something happens to my Days and Confused DVD. Plus, I do not have this one. Because the one that I have came with Fast Days of Original High, which is up there. Yes, they even had that one. And I'm like, oh, I already have that one. Somewhere around here. I should have showed it to you, but it was a double... Oh, yeah, it's right here. I got this one that had a double pack of Days and Confused. So I got this one because I couldn't find it by itself. And it had... Let me open it and show you. See? And don't get me for this music because I'm talking over the music and you probably can't stand with the music thing. So shut the fuck up. It's kind of neat that I saw both of them by themselves. I'm tempting to get that one just because... I mean, it doesn't have Mitch on it, which is my favorite character. But just because I want the cover. Here's the first one that goes with all the other movies <laughs> that I just saw. And yeah, and then there's ooh, Three Stooges. Oh, that's the Three Stooges movie. Anyway, <laughs> see where I'm at? <laughs> Have to be on the floor because there's no other way. Melissa Joan Hart, I got this movie. I love how it says it's free autograph poster off of inside to get it. But yeah, I got this DVD or CD already. It's a good one. Good Billy Gilman one. And now you got all these. Mighty Ducks, on VHS, that one, then you got that one, and there's like three of those, or two of those, and then you got Baby Shirts Club. Oh, it's 
break it too, but not on day to day. I'm just looking at, I like looking at uh, the uh, VHS just for the fun of it. I got like tons of these. These are Star Trek. All these Star Trek fans out there. Mary Kate Nash on VHS. And Gumby on Open, which is probably worth a lot of money on Amazon or eBay or whatever. If you were to do that sort of thing. But I don't, so. But if you were going to, that's pretty cool. But. So dumb. That thing I just showed you. How oh. they have that counter in the fucking way, so you can't see the DVDs inside the cabinet. So dumb. So dumb. George straight up in the his house. And Clovis up there. And that. And that. And that. Let me change this whole area. So yeah, they changed a lot of this place. Keep everything neat and so people can look and stuff. That's cool. And this is the toy area, still looking the same. Here are some of the toys. And that camera, cool toy. Little toys, Nick and Barbies, like a wave. And then Mr. Potato Head as a stormtrooper, that's pretty cool. There's some neat toys. I like looking at their toys, even if I don't buy one, because they're the neatest little toys. And is that a pig? Pig? Gamer, I didn't know I could buy you at the store. Okay, that didn't sound right, but yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Oh no, did you lose your marbles? Did Peter Pan have to find your marbles again? You know, from Peter Pan, that guy, uh, John, I think his name is. That lost it, I don't know, I can't remember. But in Hook, he goes, You found my marbles. So, yeah. Some superheroes and Transformers for $3 too much. Baseball cards. Cars, toy cars. So, but these are the kind of cars that I used to play with, but I still have somewhere in my house, in my closet. So yeah, I've looked at everything, so I'm going to go play my mother. After this, we usually go to, um, not say, uh, yeah, Sam's Club, and then we go to Salty Grounds. If you've seen my vlogs before, you know that. Here's a My Little Pony blanket that's kind of cool. But yeah, and they never usually keep the doors off right here, so it's the first time we're seeing me back at the house. I'm just going to show you some, oh, there's an emoji shirt that's kind of funny. Some of the toys while I go find my mother. So, yeah.